Recently, Palify did release a firmware update for our Atom Cube RX1 together with a few accessories that will give us more ways to use this light creatively. Roll intro. Good day everyone, welcome to the Art of Sir Eden. If you are new here and you're kind of interested in those kind of contents, please consider subscribing and tap that bell there so you'll get notified whenever I uploaded a new video. And to my current subscribers, thank you very much for your support. I wouldn't be here without you guys. And to you, yes, you who is watching this video, thank you so much for the time and please consider subscribing. You guys are awesome! And if you're watching this video on Facebook, Please feel free to like and share my page because I'll be posting most of the updates on my videos and future uploads on that page. Alright, now let's get down to business. Two months ago, I did an unboxing and a beginner's guide for the RX1. If you want to check it out, you can click on the card up there or in the links in the description below. Now, as I've said earlier recently, the Pilot Fly did release wonderful treats for us Atom Cube RX1 users, like the firmware update that will utilize these two diffusers. Alright, let's talk about how to update your RX1. Now, one of the best features of the Atom Cube RX1 is the capability to update its firmware, which opens a lot of possibilities and improvements to this pocket light. And recently, Pilotfly did release a firmware with a version of 1.0.12. And here's how to update your RX1's firmware. In case you don't know how to, open the Atom Cube app on your phone. Then connect your RX1 via Bluetooth, which I think you already know. Once paired, tap on the name of your RX1. Then press these three dots. Press the About device. Then check for firmware update. Of course, you need to be connected to a Wi-Fi to be able to download the new firmware. In my case, this message popped up. Just tap on the Force Recovery device and it will automatically start downloading. After downloading, the next step is to press the Update button. Now the RX1 will boot into recovery while the application transfers the data of the updates to the RX1. And after that, your RX1 is updated. So here is the update log of this firmware. The first one is fixed issue of the lighting flashing when temperature protection is activated. Number two is add CCT diffuser. The Kelvin display value is 2500 to 7500K instead of 8500K, which provides accurate light after installing the diffuser. Number three is the GM mode. Now, instead of having green and red, now it's green and magenta. Now, this update is for these two. So let's move on to the diffusers. Now, Vicen Marketing did send me these two diffusers. Thank you, Vicen Marketing. Now, this one is the diffuser shade and this one is the honeycomb grid now these two are made in rubber custom fit only for the rx1 to diffuse light meaning it kind of lessens the harsh light that comes out from the rx1 and with the latest firmware update you can activate the diffuser mode by long pressing the mode button in cct mode this update provides accurate lighting while the diffuser is on giving your subjects more natural looking ray of light and more pleasing to the eyes so here are some comparisons with the diffuser and without it. If you own an RX1, I strongly suggest that you get these two. In my case, I really wish I had these when I was shooting my COVID-19 video, mainly to minimize the harsh light that is coming out when your RX1 is directly pointing at your subject. If you think these two are added baggage to your bag, don't worry about it because even if 
one of these are on the RX1. It still fits on the protective pouch. It's a bit tight, but it fits. Besides, these two are very flexible, so it won't eat up too much space on your camera bags. And I gotta say, I'm really digging the look of this honeycomb grid hood on my RX1. I find it really awesome. Now let's move on to the latest accessory for the RX1, the Speedmate magnetic mount. I guess I can say that this is the answer of Pilotfly to the Aperture MC's magnetic back. It's basically a magnet mount where you can attach your RX1 for more creative lighting positions that will definitely help you on your photography or filmmaking gig. And I think it's much more versatile than just the magnet on the back. Now, I don't have the actual item yet, but I believe you can also use this not just for the RX1, but for other camera accessories, as long as it meets the weight requirement. And I think you won't have any problem with it. Here in the Philippines, it costs 1,150 as an introductory price. So what are you waiting for? Go grab it. I will leave the links in the description below, so check it out. All right, so those are the wonderful treats from Pilotfly. And I think that's not all of it. We can expect more in the future. RX50, please. Now, before we end, a big shout out to Vizen Marketing, a highly recommended shop to all my kababayans who loves photography and filmmaking. And I would like to take this opportunity to express my gratitude to Vizen Marketing because even though this channel is still young or small, they still gave us their trust. Showing support to local content creators like me, this proves that this company has a kind and big heart. So thank you again, Vizen Marketing. And that's it, guys. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment below. And I hope this video helped you. If you want more videos like this, please consider subscribing and tap that bell there so you get notified whenever I upload it, a new video. Again, this is the Art of Sir Eden Tech version and together let's explore, learn, create, and share. See you in my next video, guys. Peace. Oh, by the way, I am using the RX1 at the back. See? And the diffusers.